Incremental growth. I recently hit my first 1 million streams across all platforms. It's such a great feeling. It's so good to step into a new year with such an amazing victory. Yes, let me take my lap. <laughs> Before I say anything else, let me just preface all of this by saying there is no one way to do things. This is just me sharing my journey with you guys. So I hope you enjoy, I hope it inspires, and that's what this is all about. Now the first thing, let's address the elephant in the room. Out of my 1 million streams, 88% of my streams came from one place, Spotify. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I'm not really sure, but I'll say this, I do have a plan to change that, and I'll get into that later. But since Spotify maintains the majority of my streams, I'm gonna talk mostly about the numbers from Spotify, just to give you guys a simplified understanding of what I did, how I got to where I got, and hopefully this also helps you in the process. So I'm gonna really start from 2019 for two reasons. One, around 2019, that's when I got my first Spotify rap. But also, in 2017, I put out my first record, but that record to date only has about 10K streams. So it's a little irrelevant to talk about that one album that happened long time ago. In 2019, here's my Spotify rap. I only received 5K streams that year. Most of those streams were from Stereotype Threat. Beautifully Awkward wasn't released until the end of 2019. So in 2020, I actually went from 5K streams to 95K streams, a big jump. And the reason for that, aside from the fact that the music got better because I became a better producer, better saxophonist, which is very important. But aside from getting better, I also started releasing music more frequently. My 2020 rap was 95K. 2021, it increased all the way to 139K. In 2022, it was 218K. In this past year, 2023, almost a half a million streams came from that one year. So what really caused this growth? 5K in 2019 to almost a half a million K in 2023. Well, like I said, the music got better. That's numero uno. Making better music, becoming a better artist, that should be your number one focus. But I also got better at promoting myself. However, the main, main thing was that I learned how to create a strategy and stick to it to really be able to do something that I can execute long term without getting burnt out. That's really the key to all of this, creating a strategy that you can execute and sticking to it. But when you create a strategy, of course, you wanna make sure you create a strategy that's actually gonna push you to become a better whatever it is that you're doing. You don't necessarily wanna create a strategy that puts you in your comfort zone and keeps you there. When I first started this strategy of going from just putting albums out whenever I was finally done with them to then putting out a song or a release every four to six weeks, that was super daunting. It was very hard, but I knew it was something that I wanted to be able to do in the future, and therefore, I needed to start somewhere. Remember when I was talking about batch production? Well, that's how I started. In between 2017 and 2020, I was constantly making music, and by the time I got to 2020, I was able to start this process of continuously putting out music, which got me to where I am. But like I said, that's just me. It might be you, or you might be someone that's trying to strive to this. Let me tell you, you can do it. It's gonna start off being very hard, but at this point, it just flows. It's a rhythm that I've taught myself, and now that rhythm flows very naturally. I mean, I love my job, and my job is to make music. One last thing though. So I did say 88% of those streams came from one platform, Spotify. Now my goal after hitting 1 million streams 
is to be able to hit my next million streams this year. One of the ways that I'm gonna be doing that is to make sure that I'm not just relying on one streaming platform. Now, I'm gonna be tackling one more streaming platform, YouTube. And yes, this is daunting again, but this is exactly what it is to make sure that I'm doing my incremental growth. This year, I'm gonna be focusing on building my YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button. But yeah, just to pinpoint one important thing, I'm only gonna be tackling one new streaming platform. I'm not gonna be trying to tackle all the streaming platforms and bring those up to where I am with Spotify. My strategy is to continuously grow my Spotify while I get my YouTube channel to the same level and they can continue to grow together. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you everybody who's been streaming the music. I really appreciate it. And big shout out to all the collaborators, all the people that I've been working with over the years. I can't do this on my own. Big shout out to Sashku. Big shout out to Noah McNeil. Both of those guys have been helping me with artwork throughout the years. And of course, the music and the art, they all go together. That's what's up. Peace.